Welcome to Ask the Expert. In this uh, series of videos, we're going to be answering questions from uh, from viewers, all to do with abrasives and the tools with which we use the abrasives. So if you do have any questions you want to put to us, please put them in the comments and we'll do our very best to answer them for you. Okay, so uh, the first question we've got today is from Bob in Wolverhampton. Bob wants to know, uh, why the nuts on an angle grinder have uh, have different shapes on either side. Well, actually, it's for a good reason, Bob. Um, and th these things aren't actually called nuts, they're called flanges. Okay, so the one Bob is referring to, I think, is the top flange. So you see the top flange here. We have a flat side on the top flange and we have one with a raised uh, center, center ring. Now, that is actually for a specific reason because these machines are made to run on lots of different tools. Uh, so this side here with the, the raised hub is to be used with grinding discs because they are thicker. When you put a disc on a machine here, this raised part goes inside the bore of the, the disc and make sure we have that securely tightened and fixed to the machine. But when we use this tool with cutting discs, which are generally much thinner, we must make sure we what we call reverse the flange. So we don't want to use this castellated part with the, the raised hub here because when we tighten it up it doesn't actually tighten on the disc and we can still spin the disc and if you start the machine it could be dangerous so what we do is we make sure we reverse the flange and use the flat side on here and we spin that on and we make sure the, the disc is properly clamped okay so that's the way we reverse the flange when we're using different uh, different products i hope that answers your question bob thank you